Good evening, intuitives. I see I've lost a few subscribers. Every time I do something controversial to challenge the status quo, I piss people off. Don't you know that's what I'm all about? <laughs> but I do have an important topic for tonight. I've spoken in other videos at length about dealing with a narcissistic parent or a narcissistic boss or being in a relationship with a narcissist. However, I've neglected thus far one very important narcissist topic, and that is what to do, you know, if you think that a friend of yours is a narcissist or you have a narcissist or a borderline courting you as a friend that basically is just inserting themselves into your life and isn't taking no for an answer because it's quite a common tactic, especially among borderlines. So this video is 16 signs that your friend is a narcissist. All right, number one, they seek pr out praise and, and adoration. So the narcissistic friend is always going to try to be the alpha, the leader of the group. They want, you know, enablers orbiting them, constantly praising them, building up their ego. They feed on praise and admiration the same way a succubus feeds on sexual energy. They need it. They crave it. They got to have it. They seek it out. Number two, the narcissist friend will put their own needs first. So the friendship or the friend group as a whole will always be about what the narcissist wants, what they want to do, where they want to go. You're just there as their posse. In their minds, like, they're a celebrity and you're their entourage. It's all about them and the group is nothing without them. Okay, three, and this one's a real tough one for INFJs. Conversations stay surface level. Narcissists particularly covert narcs, are usually paranoid. So they don't want anybody knowing their deep feelings, what they're really about. Because with a narcissist, what they're really about is, you know, pretty, pretty vile. So they're going to keep conversations surface level, usually materialistic, fashion, pop culture, things of that nature, because they want to show you how hip they are. But they don't want you to know anything about them because it'll reveal who they really are and that would expose them and, you know, ruin their whole game. Number four, they are not there for you when you need them. So if you're in a time of crisis, you know, they're, they're going to use you. They're not going to be there for you. They're going to expect you to be there for them all the time. But when you need them, nothing, they won't be there. They'll, they'll, they'll just make an excuse that you have to understand. Five, there's an exception to number four, and it's when they're in their when it's in their best interest, when they are able to, you know, get praise and admiration for being there for you because they're such a good friend. You know, when they can brag brag about it to other people and feel what a good person they are. Yeah, that kind of stuff. They act entitled to your time. So when the narcissist friend, you know, wants to talk to you, wants you to do something with them, you are to drop whatever you're doing at a moment's notice and rush to the side of the narcissist at their beck and call. Because remember, you know, you're lucky that they put up with you, someone of their caliber, allowing you into their inner circle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, you're essentially like a lady in waiting. Seven, they put you down. If they ever feel like, you know, you're getting more praise if people are paying more attention to you, giving you more compliments about, you know, your style of dress, the way you look, anything in general. They'll put you down because know your place. The narcissist is first. You know, you can never outshine the narcissist. Eight, they have unreasonable expectations. So they'll expect you to do anything for them. Like, like, if a narcissistic friend tells you to break up with a guy that you chased for a month and thought was out of your league and, you know, he gets to know you and says, well, I, I guess I can let the 15-year age gap go, the narcissist will do anything to get their will because, you know, oh, healthy relationship, especially if someone hasn't had one, it's like, oh, I finally have a healthy relationship. No, 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 you can't have that. That'll take attention away from me, the narcissist, the narcissist will berate you, berate you, you know, take away your phone, do whatever they have to do to get you to break up with that guy. And they will expect you to just fall in line, you know, like, you can't date him. Why? Because I said so. 
Nine, narcissistic friends rarely show remorse, so they will hurt you, use you, betray your trust, whatever is in their best interest at any given moment in time, and they will show no remorse for it. You will not ever get an apology from a narcissistic friend. You know, in their minds, as I've said before, they can do no wrong. So, you know, again, they, the whole time, if they're friends with you, they think they're doing you a favor always. 10, you know, because of nine, they don't, for, they don't forgive. So if you do something that even they perceive as slighting them in any way, it's your fault. It's your fault. They're going to blame you for it. They're going to expect an apology from you. But, you know, they won't even forgive you for something that you did that wasn't even wrong, that their twisted mind just perceives it wrong because they're a narcissist. So anything that upsets them is by definition wrong. 11, they will use or exploit you. So be it monetarily, be it your trust, um, anything that they can use to their to their advantage. They'll trick you into buying things for them, driving them places. They'll even try to pimp you out to other people, you know, like other circles of people that they want to get in the group. It's like, oh, this guy's so popular and he wants you to sleep with him. I command you to do it so I look good kind of thing. You see that in sororities, I remember. 12, they're jealous of your other relationships. So be it a romantic relationship or a friendship other than the narcissist, anything that takes time away from them, they're going to be jealous of and they're going to try to destroy it because everything has to revolve around them all the time. 13, they lash out. So whenever they're the slightest bit upset, whenever you don't rush to them, when they beckon and call, or if you're showing affection to someone that they didn't approve of first, they're going to lash out and have a meltdown and tell you that you can't talk to that person. You could be at work and they'll still have a meltdown. They don't care. You know, you're just supposed to do whatever they say, no matter what it is, where you are, when they say it, what you got going on, how you feel towards another person. No, 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 no. Narcissist number one all the time. Hell, even if you have a baby, the narcissist will expect to be more important than the baby. And what comes before a baby? Nothing, because babies are awesome. 14, you feel drained after spending time with them. So this friendship will be quite exhausting and taxing. Like, you'll be glad when you have alone time away from this friend. Like, you will be like, if you're out with them, you'll be looking forward to when the excursion is done and you can be alone and depressed. Like, you have no peace and they'll always be blowing up your phone, too. So, yes, you savor the rare times alone or with being somewhere without them, like out on a date, they'll blow you up the whole time. Knowing that you're on a date, perhaps with somebody that, you know, you've been trying to get to ask you out for weeks, but the narcissist doesn't approve, so they'll blow you up. Yes, I'm speaking from experience. 15. The friendship with the narcissist ends when it stops serving their needs. So as, as soon as you're no longer useful to them, you know, or you catch on to who they are and you call them on it. But whenever they can't get narcissistic supply off of you, that's when the friendship ends. Like everything else, it's always on their terms. And 16, they quote, seek out better friends. Narcissists are always trying to trade up in anything, jobs, relationships, friends. So if they can weasel their way into what they perceive as, you know, a better friend circle, you know, like the good old boys club or whatever, they'll abandon you for that circle of people, you know, unless like maybe you're their lackey sidekick main enabler, they might drag you along. But, you know, they'll even like exploit you, try to pimp you out sexually to gain access to the cool crowd because for them, everything's about status and keeping up with the Joneses and being the person everybody admires and wants to be. So if any of those 16 signs or a combination thereof remind you of a friend in your life, then that friend is most likely a narcissist and you are being used and abused even if you don't want to admit it. It can be something that's hard to admit, but you must trust your intuition. What's your intuition telling you about this person? Do you really enjoy having any form of relationship with them or did they simply latch on to you and claim you as their own? And now they're trying to isolate you from people that you chose to associate with and your whole world is now revolving around them. Are they pushing your other friends away? Things to pay attention to. So 
like be honest with yourself if a friend is a narcissist and if it is it's best to get away soon because the longer you indulge them the more they will latch on to you and isolate you from all other aspects of your life